What's up guys and welcome back to Triple L Rustic Designs. In today's video, we're cutting the most beautiful boards we've ever cut on the sawmill. Check it out. Alright guys, we're back here at the sawmill today and we're going to do something that we've been wanting to do for quite a while. In most of our previous cedar videos, we cut the cedar log into slabs for like tabletops and thicker slabs. What we're gonna do with this cedar log is cut it into some one inch thick boards. We've made boards out of oak and pine, but we haven't made any out of cedar. So this is gonna be really cool to make some boards out of this cedar log. So this cedar has been laying in our cedar pile for quite a while. It actually was brought to us by Wade's Tree Service a long time ago, almost like eight months ago. When we pulled this log out of our cedar pile, you couldn't see any of its beautiful color on the inside. We took the chainsaw and we cleaned up the butt end and then we cut it down to eight feet long. We've got quite a few logs still sitting in our cedar pile, but we're definitely looking to get some more. If you're watching this video and you have some cedar trees that you're trying to get rid of, definitely shoot me an email because we'd like to talk with you. So in this video, we're gonna cut this log down to a nice square cant and once we get there, then we're gonna cut some one inch thick boards off of it. We also have a bucket attached to the sawmill because a lot of you keep saying that you're interested in this cedar sawdust. So we're gonna capture it and I've got some little sachet bags that I'm gonna fill full of cedar dust and offer to you guys for sale. So this log is not perfectly round. We actually have a limb sticking up at the skinny end. So we're gonna cut some little two inch pieces off of that until we get down to the main part of the log. And those pieces will be used for some kind of crafting projects that probably involve some epoxy. All right, we're gonna get the sawmill fired up and we're gonna get into this log.
All right, we trimmed this cedar down and gotten it flat on both sides. Now we're gonna start working our way down, taking some one inch thick boards off the top. You can see here on the end of the log that we have a couple different issues. Like we've got a crack going one way, but then it looks like we have a little bit of like rotting or just some little bit of hollow section going the other way. So I don't know what the proper way is to orient this log that we're not gonna get screwed on the inside. So we're gonna take our best chance the way it is and see what happens. so we're noticing some chatter coming from that blade um, I think that blades probably done so we're gonna go swap it out before we start on these boards so that way our boards that we cut are perfectly smooth Brand new blade. 
May go the whole way down through, or it could be just around this limb. Yeah, that's probably what it is. All right, guys. So I don't know if you just saw it in the video, but we just switched that blade out for a four degree double hard, brand new wood miser blade. And when we cut into this log, we got one really nice board off of it. Second cut into it, we hit some metal. You could hear it instantly. You could hear the distinct. Uh, difference in the blade after it hit that metal so we pulled the board off and we looked at it and it looks like it's a dog cable there's like a green dog cable or some kind of cable that has wire in it that is embedded on the inside of this log I don't know how deep it goes but I just checked all the teeth on that blade. It looks fine, so we're just gonna send it again. Hopefully, this cable doesn't go too far down through the log and we can get past it and continue getting some nice boards off this cedar. All right, so we decided we're just gonna flip this log over to this flat side and then we're gonna work our way down from the what's gonna be the top and we'll see how far this chain, cable, whatever it is, goes through this log. All right, guys, we've got this thing down to a square can. See, all y'all making these comments about why don't you wear a mask, why don't you wear ear protection? It's hard to make videos when you got all this stuff on. Anyway, so we've got this down to a square can. What we're gonna do is leave it as is, even though if you look here, we've got this rotten area running kind of like diagonally and then we also have a crack running this way. So no matter which way we flip it, we're gonna be screwed with this. But then we also have that cable down here on the bottom. So we're gonna leave it as is. We're gonna cut one inch boards working our way down from the top here. 
but let me know in the comments if you guys would have flipped it over flipped it 90 degrees and cut from this side making this side the top cutting down this way let me know in the comment box what you would have done with this but like I said the way we're gonna leave it right now we're gonna leave this the top we're gonna work our way down making one inch boards All right, guys, I want to take a moment to talk to you about something real quick. This company, Olight, sent us over some of their flashlight products. And as you know, if you work on a farm, you can never have too many flashlights. So Olight's company specializes in these rechargeable flashlights. And they sent over a couple of different models for us to test out. Olight has some really quality products. But one thing I want to show you real quick, this is their Baton 3 model. It comes with a wireless charging case that you can fit in your pocket. Now I know some of you have AirPods and you have some of those earbuds that when you're done using the earbuds, you put them in a case and you put it in your pocket and it gives it a charge. That is exactly what this flashlight does. When this flashlight's running out of battery, you can pop it in this case, it charges it up to full charge and it's supposed to last approximately 22 hours. That's pretty awesome if you ask me. Olight is actually the first company to make a flashlight with a rechargeable case like this. So if you're in the market for some really cool flashlights to include one with a rechargeable case, head over to Olight and check out their products. I've got a link in the description below where you can head over to their website and see all the specs and details to this stuff. All right guys, that's my product input for today. Let's get back to sawing. All right, so I know we just said that we were gonna work our way down from the top on this thick side, but as we came down about another two boards, we started to notice that rotten spot all the way down through the center of the boards. So instead of taking the chance of wasting these boards, we're gonna flip the log 90 degrees and we're gonna cut a bunch of one by sevens starting from this side, that way I know we'll get some solid boards out of this section and then once we get down here in this like rotten area I don't know what they're gonna look like but I think that's gonna be more effective than cutting it the way that we're doing right now as I flip this over I'm dealing with this cable right here so it's like a lose-lose situation we either cut from the one side and have a rotten spot in the center or we cut down from this side and possibly hit this cable again which I'm pretty sure we're gonna hit the cable again but that blades already sounding weird so we're considering it a lost blade if I was to flip it all the way over and work my way down from here I would only get like maybe two boards before I get to that rotten part so we're gonna leave it on this side and we're gonna see what happens
Damn. All right, guys, we just finished cutting that cedar log into one inch thick boards, and man, these things are awesome. This has got to be the most beautiful boards we've ever cut on our sawmill. I don't know what the price tag is gonna be on these things, but man, they sure are pretty. All right, guys, that's gonna do it for this video. We're gonna get these beautiful boards stacked up to dry. If you like this video, press that like button. It really helps out our channel. Also, don't forget to subscribe for all of our future videos. We'll see you on the next one.